So I'm moving straight to the discussion. My guest is already seated in the studio. Chairman, you are welcome. Thank you. It's such a pleasure to have you. Now, um, we have here in the studios a group of young men from NIIT, NIIT, and they have manufactured or they have instituted or they have produced a software, an app, a software where you can be able to know whether somebody has COVID-19 or not. In fact, when I received this particular uh, uh, um, software or when I received this particular app, there were some questions that were in place and I have to fill in those questions or portfolios. And when I, when I, when I followed suit, it told me I was negative. Now I'm going to ask him questions on that particular app they have developed. Gentlemen, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you for having mm. me on the show. So, such a pleasure. But uh, tell us about you and your team. Okay, so um, basically, so I'll be sending the I'll be sending screenshot to my producer, and he will try and flash it so that we look at how their app is and how young people develop something like this for our country. Okay, so um, thank you for having me show once again. Mm. So um, I'm basically a trainer at NIT. Mm. Um, my student and I came together to develop an application, a mm. simple um, web application that will enable users, mm. okay, um, to run a simple survey. Okay. okay, to know whether they show symptoms of mm. uh, COVID-19. Okay. Okay, this is to enable people to share and also know um, certain areas. Yeah. Right, yeah. Mm. So that's basically what we mm. did. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So what went into the creation of this particular app? Okay, so our main motive of this application is to share, enable people to know mm. their, um, uh, their status, all right? Mostly, most, most people are quite afraid to know their status in terms of whether they have it or not, um, actually going to the hospital just to be tested and all that. But if we create an environment, okay, a platform which is user-friendly enough, they would be able to, you know, run tests, okay, check, have a full knowledge of the status before they actually make um, um, advancement. To is, the results that, is, is the results that come out of this particular um App you have created mm -hmm. credible, hundred percent credible. All right. So the credibility, the credibility is based on the um, options you choose. All right. So if you choose options that are render negative or let's say um, low, then it's basically the questions or the answers you have are mm. yeah pushed in into mm. the system. Exactly. So 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 for example, I have a friend mm -hmm. who usually get cold. You know, most people have chronic cold. Yeah. Me, I get cold a lot, but yeah. unfortunately, I've been saved. I, I, ever since this pandemic happened, my cold has vanished. But um, if, if somebody has is sneezing, is coughing like normal cold, and has a little headache, but you ask the person, and the person type all of these things, mm -hmm. and because they have cold symptoms, uh, so they have coronavirus, no, no. Because okay. if flu hasn't left our country, it's still sure, there. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, because um, if you if you look at the application, mm. code is not the only option you can choose or only only option that you have there. There are series of what um, symptoms that mm. are being displayed. Mm. So yes, you can have code, but probably your temperature is is low. Mm. Okay, or your, your your temperature is on a normal level. Mm. Then it doesn't really um, um um give an output of let's say you have or you show symptoms of the virus. Okay. Don't forget so, that fever generally mm -hmm. hasn't left. Yes, fever Not has all left. fever. Mm -hmm. Yes, in this time, fever gives a strong indication of a possible coronavirus. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean people on the normal will not have fever. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It is not only the option on the application. The application go, goes as far as asking if you are pregnant. If yeah, you are pregnant, yes. Yeah. 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 So if you go through it, okay. Uh, so if, if my producer is watching me, if he can quickly check his phone and see if we can, if we can show um, how how this particular uh, 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 app. App, app works yeah. okay so 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 as i was saying that is not the only option that you have to select there are mm. series of options and since your producer is working on showing the app we can actually go through and see mm. some okay of the options. Be, be, before okay. they show it let me let me go through this i don't know if, if the cameras can 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 capture my phone as, as as we wait if the cameras can can try and capture my phone so that so that we we can we can so while the camera is on the phone maybe you can look on the screen and see how best we can uh, we can do this. So, so the first one ask um, the first one. Can you 
Can you um, actually go to the NIT's website and then take it from there? That would be best for you. No, don't worry. Uh, this is also okay. I, I don't want to. So this one also says, uh, tell us how old you are. So age also is very important in yes. this. Okay. So the age being important, we have, uh, please select your gender. Male or female also exactly. is important. So it also, the app also says that your temperature. So do you have a normal temperature, fever or high fever? How do I in the house wanting to use this app without any... Temp, uh, checking of temperature device, any of the weather laser or the no old method. How do I know my, 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 my temperature range? All right. So as a normal person, mm. okay, that is why we gave indications, normal, mm. okay, or high or any of that sort. You no, my you issue know? is with the fever and high fever. Yes. How yes. does so, a normal person know so, fever and high fever? So, so basically, you know your normal temperature, mm. right? If your temperature goes beyond a certain level, you was, you will actually feel it yourself. Yes, fever. Yes, yeah, exactly, exactly. And then, as I was saying, that is not the only option. So a series of options is what we put together. No, to we are coming on that. We are taking it one, but we are looking at yeah. the temperature, fever. So mm -hmm. how do I know this is a high fever and this is a normal fever, so that I know how to choose? All right. So a high fever will have a particular range, and obviously you may need a thermometer to test that, mm. right? Okay. But then, as a human being, you may know how you feel. All right. So, so, so at what point is it the point where I'm shivering and I'm cold and I'm hot? Is that the point where I'm I'm getting a high fever? Basically, basically, if you are if you are showing symptoms, let's say um like what you're saying, mm. very, feeling very very cold mm. and such symptoms, you may probably be having a high fever. Mm. All right. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Um. Wow. 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 So what, what, why do you have to ask people whether they are pregnant in, in the coronavirus app? Does pregnancy, does coronavirus transmit from mother of a child to, to the child? Okay, so the reason why we ask for pregnancy is because at certain points in, in pregnancy, your immunity basically goes low. So we also need to know that in checking of the status. Mm. Yeah. Mm, 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 so mm. You, might, you, you might be, you might be um, say, pregnant you might show a lot of symptoms but possibly you may not have the virus yeah. so we also need to take that into oh, consideration okay. but, but 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 i think this is very brilliant i mean for you guys to put up such an app don't worry uh, already we have um the coronavirus tracker app and i think this is also a self-assessment app for us to know whether or not there's a possibility of you having the COVID 19 in fact it helps you i mean it helps the, the, the society uh, uh, put us in, in, in check. I, I'll bring your other colleague inside, but do you, do you want to add some few words before we bring your other colleague? Yeah, sure. Uh, the main motive of this app, which we, we, we are aware there are other samples um, available that users are already trying out. But what, what we intend uh, putting out there is the mm. ability to share. Mm. You know, um, um, people are already used to social media and sharing stuff. Mm. Okay, but they are not really... Um, um, ready to share such status. Mm. So we want to encourage people to keep sharing, mm. okay, keep using the application. Let us know um, basically what is out there, all right? That is, mm. that is the, one of the main motives of this application. Mm. And then also, um, it shouldn't basically be an app, mm. say a mobile app where you have to download. You just created a link so you can easily check and then mm. that'll mm. be it, yeah, mm. so. Okay, viewers, I'm just going for a montage. Uh, his other colleague is here, just about a minute or two, then we go to the next set of interviews that we have. I'll be right back from this montage. Break. I'll be on. All right, welcome back from that particular break. Lots and lots of messages, and we are going to be reading it for you. This one just a quick one. Um, hi, I'm Kobe from I'm Kobe Junior from Kumase Etim Etimetim. Ghana has got something, so let's grab it. Congrats to Mr. Bentil and his colleagues, all members of the Youth Ambition Movement. We are watching you live and we are proud of you best show ever uh this one also says that hi this is t-boy musician okay t-boy we hear you this one also says that shadrach this is your uncle jeff from act from act of the covenant academy i would like to use this platform to say congrats for the good work and keep pushing forward god bless uh, god bless you shalom okay just two messages so i would read the rest of them but let me quickly uh Chema, what's your name I'm Bento Shadrach. Bento, what exactly or what role did you play in the development of this app? Actually, first of all, thank all viewers. I'm proud to be here. Well, what actually I did in this app is just to do the survey, ask the questions are being asked. I'm at the back there, the mastermind behind, 
collecting every data just to assess them and to give you the appropriate results that I think is So it means that anytime anybody is inputting the data, you get notification? Not really, but... Uh, You've set up a system yes, that responds the system it. that responds okay. to it. Okay. What is the future of this app like? The future... The oh, future? The future. Yeah. How, well, how, do you, how far would you see this app? This app... I think this app can go far so far as COVID-19 is concerned because, you know, this is not a mobile application, it's just a web application. And most people don't like it being mobile on their phone to take space. So if they can go online to the web just to check their results and to post it there, yeah, I think it makes sense. It can be good. Would you use this platform to call on the government or individual or the World Health Organization to sponsor and support you guys in this brilliant application you are doing? Okay. For now, I think the government is having an initiative concerning an app out there, COVID-19 Tracker. Mm -hmm. So I would think it's going to be a brilliant idea if they can consider this as well. This being a web application, mm -hmm. most people might prefer this than the mobile application. Mm -hmm. So that I mm -hmm. think that mm -hmm. will be. Charlie, on behalf of Ghanaian youth, we are really proud of you guys. You guys are doing very well. You're doing amazing. When uh, Mr. Sujit J. Prakash sent me this particular link, I, I went on it and I was like, this is dope and it would be a good idea to have you guys. Like, do you mind putting your contacts out there so that any big man watching who wants to engage you guys can engage you guys? Okay. The number. I'm going to shout out the number is 0556-0556-844-333-1. Can you give the 0556 0556-0556-844-333-1. So uh, viewers, those who are watching us, don't forget to kindly... Uh, get in touch with them. They are doing very well. I mean, I think this is the future of Ghana where we are able to um, develop certain models which, which would help us in, 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 I mean, in the smooth administration of our country. Um, thank you so much. It's such a pleasure to, 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 to have you. But uh, before I go for the break, let's, let me read some few messages. Hi, good afternoon. This is Cyborg from Nkransa. Congratulations to Bento and his, and his NIIT crew. Uh, keep it up, guys. This one says that, hello, I'm Dogbeda from Pukwasi. Whoa, what a brilliant app by Augustine and his team. I know this application will go far and help citizens to at least know their status. Uh, this one says that, very wonderful. The president needs to call these people and add them to the team of frontliners. Frontliners. Okay. <laughs> This is your view. Mr. This is from Imano Duku Apia Kumasi. Thank you. This was the hello. This is your friend, Mami Kunedu Asari. I'm so proud of you, Shadra. Keep going. I'm so happy. Uh, this one says that can can I see a shot of the NIT software? We are trying to, to put it out there, but unfortunately we just got it on the show, so it's quite difficult. My boss, my boss, see the government has lifted the ban because he wants the registration of new voter register to be done. Not because of anything important but the register. We Ghanaians do not need that now. This is Inus Inusa Naporu from Tamale. Okay. This one says that this this is Kontong. We are proud of you. All right, lots and lots and lots of messages. Don't forget to send your WhatsApp messages on, on 0548503799. This one says that Bentel, I'm watching you live here. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, boss. More win. Ebefa. This is Ebe Ebefa from Akumea Pepragidion. Okay. Um, all right. So, thank you so much. God bless you. Uh, we wish you all the best, but we'll do our best to have you guys back on the show again, possibly next week. Let us get the, 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 the screenshots of the, of, the, of the app quick so that before you come, we can put it in our system and, and, and get the show. We are going for a quick montage break. So, when we come back, my next set of guests, if not my guests, would be in the studio. I'll be right back.